Hello friends, hello everyone that decided to watch this video today uh, on the Audio Sanity channel. The Audio Sanity channel is a channel that tries to inject some common sense and sanity in the insane audio world we live in today. Uh, this is a rant, if you are not into rants uh, you can leave now but you can find something that inter can be interesting to you. Well, uh, how to start today? Hmm. I will start with this sentence. Did you notice? Did you notice that almost nobody is measuring anything? And for measuring, I say measuring electronic devices. Yes, the one you, which you are uh, going to buy and online or on the shop. If you are a seasoned um, audiophile like me, you would just, uh, surely remember when in the old days you go to the newsstand and you buy a report table or you find a magazine and among others uh, there were reviews. These reviews were generally very, very technically oriented and made by people that knew what they were doing. They explained it, how this device made, how it feels, and it, uh, how it sounds eventually, and at the end of it, you will find a couple of pages full of graphs. There were laboratory tests of this device. Yes, you can say, oh, laboratory tests are for nothing. Mm, well, uh, uh, you, partly you have a point. Laboratory tests don't give all the picture, and it's also to what I think I think was uh, Albert Einstein said that that not everything we can measure matter, and not everything that matters can be measured, and this is also true in uh, hi-fi and audio. Uh, indeed. Measure an electronic device with a sine wave, even with a multitone, which are way, way simpler than the musical information, doesn't give a full picture. But as an electronic engineer myself, and mostly I come from IT, but I, I did sometimes design electronic devices, audio and not, I, ca I can say that. If a device cannot cope with a simple signal like a sine wave or a multitone, it probably will cope even worse uh, with a more complex signal. So it's better uh, a not complete, not exhaustive uh, set of tests than nothing. Now, what we have nowadays, in the past we had this technician that they knew how to about electronic, they knew how to test the device and to provide us a load of information. Now we have a bunch of clowns or con men, depend uh, if they are honest or not. Most of the time not. They are testing these uh, devices and give us no information at all. Uh, they give us uh, bunch of carp, of BS, of malaki, well, depending, you can call it as you like. They give us no information. I will tell you that the, the sound stage is 3D and that the music is liquid. Liquid music, never heard of it. Um, they invent the, the uh, minting new words every day, try to convince you that this piece of garbage, and yes, most of the devices today you pay for, you buy for thousands and pounds, are a piece of garbage under the electronic point of view. And they were only just a nice, very lovely, nice case. Uh, it's fantastic. I know what you do. Uh, you're, you are tired of your uh, amplifier, the same amplifier that you bought two years ago. You could buy the new fantastic one that everyone is praising and you spend a few thousand pounds more. 
And then you bring it home, you connect everything. Yes, it is. Oh, well, it's great. Why is great? For, there are three reasons. First reason, why ev- it is so because you heard that everybody says that is great. So you're right, aren't they? Second, is expensive. And how can be a piece of garbage if it's expensive? Right. And third, yes indeed, it sounds very different from the old one. It's all another music. But after a few months, something wrong. You get bored. Why you get bored? You get bored of music? No, you got bored of this bloody amplifier. Because this amplifier the nobody is testing as a shitload of distortion is a phase errors and other defects that make the sound not unpleasant but st- strongly colored and it, everything sounds the same. The beats sound the same, Pink Floyd sounds the same, Bach sounds the same, Mozart sounds the same. David Bowie sounded the same. And in something inside your brain, say, oh, it's something wrong here. And in the meantime, then start playing the drum on the new fantastic device that, oh yes, this is fantastic, it's better than the old one. And and the merry-go-round. You got to buy the new one. And in two years' time, you will be bored and you buy the new one. In the old day, you got to buy an amplifier. The amplifier is good because you knew about music and every music sound how it should sound, more or less. But it, 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 it sounds different, yes? The good records sound good. The bad records sound bad. Uh, Mozart is Mozart. Bach is Bach. John Bovey is John Bovey, Pink Floyd is Pink Floyd. And you keep it for 15 years, 20. No regrets. Now everything sounds the same. And that is the way of the industry to continue selling you expensive, overrated, overpriced pieces of garbage. So. Stop. Don't go in the merry-go-round. Start learning about how music should sound. Start learning something about electronics. Start listening to your ears and not listening to the words of the influencers you find on YouTube that are like, uh, you know, the... uh, this is that um, Mozart and that fancy, the the magic flute. Yes, the magic flute. They, they try to to uh, lure you, to, to hypnotize you. Oh yes, these all like it's the best of the way. I, I so recently, one of those clowns, the praising a class D amplifier with tubes. All of this is is the heaven, and you believe it. I will do uh, more videos about uh, devices and, and explaining uh, my point of view technically why I don't believe they are any any good and they are uh, simply um, play games on you. But when you go to buy these pieces of garbage, they laugh at you. When you exit from the shop, they laugh at you. Mostly when you buy very expensive cables, you buy uh, uh, power supply conditioning, it costs thousands of pounds, they laugh at you. Don't get laughed at. Start get smart. All right, sorry. I'm sorry if uh, someone felt offended. I didn't want to offend anyone. Ignorance is normal. I'm ignorant in many things, and I can get duped by people that uh, you know can try to, to, to 
tell me fairy tales, but I try not to. And be aware that today market is just there not to give you a good product that you can cherish for years. It's just there for your money. And that's all for today. I hope you like this kind of content. Leave comments in this section below that you can also like if you like. Uh, subscribe, yeah. Sus uh, subscribers are over time very much appreciated. And uh, in the meantime, stay safe, stay calm, enjoy the music, and don't get fooled by this con man. See you next time.